Hi guys, so I have a makeup look for you guys today and it's the one I wore last night to my friend's birthday. It's a very vampy, very gothy look, very dark look and it's very bold so if you want to make a statement with your makeup then maybe you can try out this look. I'm also going to show you guys um, the look with two other uh, lip colours so if you're not really comfortable or confident enough to wear such a dark bold lip I'm going to show you how it looks with a nude lip and a pink lip so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to see that. I'm going to get started right away. Oh, I have to mention as well, I recently went on a MAC uh, shopping trip, so I kind of binged a bit when I went to MAC. So the whole video is using all of my new purchases and a few of my um, stuff already in my collection. So uh, just bear that in mind. I absolutely love MAC. It's my favourite um, makeup brand. And even though I don't feel like I need to put a disclaimer out there, and I am anyway because I know this couple of people who may not have been watching my channel for a long time who may have questions about this. I actually love MAC so it's one of those brands that is accessible to a lot of different people in a lot of different countries and if you want a dupe for something you can easily google it and you can find a dupe, a less expensive dupe or a dupe in another brand perhaps or whatever so um, that's just just to let some of you guys who may not know this already um, so a lot of it is MAC but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial I'd love to know what your thoughts are so leave a comment down below and like the video as well so first i'm going to take my primer this is the prep and prime um, skin based visage by mac i love this primer i'm going to take about maybe just one and a half squirts i don't know if you can see that that looks very washed up and i'm going to use my foundation brush the 190 and i'm just going to apply this onto my skin um, I like using primers um, when I'm going out at night time or if I if I know I'm going to wear makeup for a long period of time just because um, the makeup tends to stay on and I don't really have to do any touching up and um, I quite like that. Um, so yep, really like this one, just sweeping it all over my face. Here's the brush. Gives it a really nice smooth base for any foundation to go over, and I like that. Now, my Studio Fix Fluid, and uh, this is NC45, that's my shade. I'm going to do two squirts, and that's literally all I'm going to use for the whole of my face. And just placing it and then just blending it in. The other side. I love this foundation because it's like medium to full coverage and whenever I use this foundation I don't even have to put on any concealer because it just covers everything and it just gives me that even complexion that I really like. So it's one of those easy ones I really like. Not much work. It's required. I put some on my forehead as well, just a tiny bit. I don't know if you can see the scar where I burnt myself uh, last month with my hair straighteners. I'm such a clumsy person. I know a lot of people might not think that, but oh my gosh, I'm always deep in thought. And because I'm always deep in thought, I'm always clumsy, fall over, have such embarrassing moments. I'm just such a klutz. Um, yeah, and even when I cook, I can't cook without like not sustaining a burn, a cut or a bruise. <laughs> because, oh, I'm just so terrible. But can you see like the foundation it's gone on so smooth and it just looks like my skin I absolutely love that now i'm going to go straight to my brows and i'm using an old mascara wand that's been washed as my spoolie just brush that out and since i dyed my hair uh, black i've had to go a shade darker with my eyebrow pencil i used to use a brown one before but now i'm using a darker one this one's called stud also by mac and um, I tend to just thread my eyebrows and the shape I, I really like anyway it's just that there's a few gaps and I just use the pencil just to fill in those gaps. I don't really do much with the brows so 
I like to keep them as natural looking as possible. And that's all I'm gonna, I'm not doing any more on that, that, that side. Fill this in like this. And um, I, I, I tend to skip out on the um, conceal routine when my eyebrows are freshly done because yeah, I kind of like that. When they need doing, I do the concealing, but if they still look fresh and new, then I skip it. So this is, this is kind of like the ideal look of my brows. Done. I'm gonna start on the eyes. I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. This is some good stuff. It's nearly finished. I need to go repurchase this. Um, very good for eyeshadows, you know, to stick onto the lid and not crease and also makes the uh, colours uh, pop more. Just blending that out. I'm going to apply my eyeshadow. Now I made up this cord myself. Obviously I bought the cord, the little thing and I bought the individual eyeshadows and um, the colours are absolutely beautiful. They are very uh, fall autumn-y. And um, we have Orb, which I already had, and these three are new. Cranberry, um, I think this is um, Plum Dressing, and Sketch, so very lovely, sort of like plummy um, purple uh, family, which is very nice. I'm gonna start off by applying Cranberry all over my lid. I'm gonna apply this all over my lid. Cranberry. And then just press and sweep, press and sweep. So we can get the really, you know, popping effect. Pressing it on allows it to stick more. And then just sweeping it just blends it better. So like that. Just gonna take the, the tip and just blend it upwards slightly into the crease. And then I'm going to get my 224 brush and I'm just going to blend that out, the harsh lines. I'm going to the palette again and I'm going to take plum dressing with the same 239 brush and I'm just going to place this on the outer third of my lid just drawing it down in like a vertical motion and just sort of like making it into like a transition colour uh, before I put on the darker colour on the outer corner. Just blend that slightly. And then my 224. It's always good to have a clean 224 or clean blending brush um, that you can just use to blend your eyeshadows. Now I'm taking my 217 and I'm going in with Sketch, which is the darker colour. And this is going to go on the outer corners and slightly into the crease. So I'm just going to draw like a V, like a, a V on its side, so I can get the shape I want. And then I'm just going to start by blending it in a circular motion and then sweeping it slightly into the crease, like that. I'm just going to take my clean 224 brush and just blend the eyeshadow into the crease even more. I'm 
For the highlight, I'm taking Orb, which is that one over there, and this 275 brush. Now I'm just going to apply this to the brow bone. And just blend that in. I'm now going to work on the lower lash line and taking this uh, PowerPoint eye pencil in Perma Plum. It's a dark purple. I'm just going to sweep this on the lower lash line like so. This is the part where my eyes start to water. They don't usually water but because I'm, I have a bit of a cold, they're just really sensitive. <laughs> So yeah, I love this purple, love it. There's actually a really nice one by Gosh, and also by Sleek. So if you can't get your hands on this, maybe check those two brands out. Now I'm gonna take my uh, pencil brush, which is the 219 by MAC, and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm now going to go in with Smolder Eye Pencil and this is going to go on my waterline. Just darken that up even more. So that's pretty much it with the eyes. I'm now going to apply my false eyelashes and these ones are very thick and very dramatic but they go so perfectly with this eye makeup look. They're the number 48 by MAC and I'm going to use the Duo Eyelash Adhesive and I'll be right back. Oh, check out my How to Apply um, Lashes video. I'll leave a link down below for those of you who don't know how to apply false eyelashes. So my lashes are on. Um, the glue's still drying, so hence the little white bits, but they're going to dry clear, so it's fine. Um, I've also applied some mascara on my lower lash line and just some mascara uh, on my lashes as well, just to blend in with the uh, false eyelashes and I use my Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. I think I'm going to go straight into this with like contouring and then my blush. I'm going to use my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in dark to contour because it's slightly darker than my skin tone and then it's not too dark that the contouring looks really obvious. This is my uh, one, what's it, 129 brush by MAC. I'm going to swirl that in there and I'm just going to apply this to the hollows of my cheeks. As you can see it's given a really nice contoured look but then it looks still looks quite natural um, and that's how I like to do mine anyway and then for the cheek colour is my new favourite blush at the minute it's Pinch Me by MAC um, if you like matte um, blushes then definitely check this out and if you like peaches then you should check this out as well because this is kind of like a pinky version of peaches peaches was like my summer colour so I guess this is my autumn colour, autumn winter colour. Just applying that on my cheeks. Give a nice pinky blush. Um, I'm going to show you guys three different lip uh, colours that you can go with this eye makeup look. It's a very dramatic eye makeup look, but then you can actually wear it during the daytime with a nude lip. But then if you want to amp it up, you can go for either a pink lip or a plum lip. I'm going to start off with the... Plum lip because that's the one I'm most excited about and I'm going to show you guys what the other lips look like. I recently just uh, picked up Night Moth from MAC uh, just because I really wanted a good uh, dark lip pencil that I can use with Rebel which is my favourite plum lipstick. Uh, so I'm just going to start filling in my lips with that.
very vampy, very, very dark. Love it. Just filling that in slightly. It looks like a moustache. <laughs> This is definitely a statement. <laughs> Look. Just blend that slightly. And then I'm going to go over it with Rebel. <laughs> so that's that with the purple lip I really like this um, hopefully the glue dries soon enough just so I can show you guys the other colours so that's that the makeup look is done. I absolutely love this. I wore this makeup look last night and I got tons of compliments. Then I was like, yes, this is a very vampy, gothy type look. And because that's the kind of look I'm going for this autumn time, I absolutely love it. So hopefully you guys can recreate this. Um, I'm going to show you how it looks with the other lip colours now. Okay, so this is the look with pink lips. I've got sore lip liner and I've got modesty lipstick. Um, all over the lips and um, this is what it looks like with pink lips. I quite like the pink lips. I probably rock this during the day um, and then the purple ones at night time. So here we are. Now this is what it looks with a nude lip. Um, I've tried to make it as nude as possible but then I've got all the other colours underneath. So what I did was I put a bit of concealer on just so I could um, mute out the lip and then I applied um, Hover Lip Pencil and then um, freckle tone lipstick. Let me just grab that. Yep, <laughs> freckle tone, which is a really nice nude lip color. So that's it, nude. Okay guys, so that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I look forward to doing more makeup looks with a lot of stuff I have in my collection. Um, like I said before, let me know what you think. And um, I'll speak to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Awkward ending. Bye.